There's also a sense in which we believe that what we have to do to impact culture is not just become like the culture, but that we have to go into the most influential areas in the culture, master those most influential areas in the culture, be received and accepted in those most influential areas in the culture, so that then we can transform the culture. The classic example of this is the Christian musician who wants to go and do music so that through becoming the most popular music star of our day, he or she can then have a platform for the gospel. It's a classic bait and switch. I, I, I will be all that the world desires so that I can become incredibly popular in the world. And then once I am enthroned and the world is worshiping me, I will flip the script and tell them about Jesus. And of course, then the world will be saved. But is that what we see in the New Testament? Is that what we see from the Apostle Paul? I would argue that it is not, but it's not enough for me to just say.